If you are learning American English, then you must watch this video till the end because I'm about to share with you the top 20 most popular American slang words of 2022 that you should learn and start using. These are used all the time in American TV programs, movies, YouTube videos. In other words, they're used everywhere. But before we start, I just want to let you know that some of these slang words are also used here in England, all right? Just bear that in mind. Slang number one on fleek on fleek refers to something that is perfect or on point let's say your sister goes to a salon to get her hair her eyebrows and her nails done when she comes back home if she looks pretty and stuff you might say something like wow your eyebrows are on fleek your eyebrows are on fleek meaning they're perfectly done they look great all right slang number two dope dope is a very common slang word that means cool or awesome or great let's say you are big on chris brown and he drops a new song you might say something like chris brown's new song is dope all right chris brown's new song is dope meaning it's really cool it's awesome slang number three shoddy this slang has lots of different meanings if you hear this word in rap music, it generally means a hot girl, all right? It's used to refer to hot girls. Shoddy right there, she's got everything I need. Reminds me of a song. Shoddy right there, she's got everything I need. Slang number four, cringe, oh, to cringe. Cringe means to feel very embarrassed or uncomfortable about something. An example would be, um, I cringed when I saw him talking to her. I cringed when I saw him talking to her. You know, it was an embarrassing situation, an uncomfortable sit situation, all right? Number five, lit. If you say that something is lit, it means that it is cool or exciting. Yo, that party we went to last night was lit. Slang number six, to zonk out. If you zonk out because you're tired, it means that you fall asleep quickly or become unconscious. You know, when you're so tired that you pass out yeah you zonk out i usually zonk out after my weight training session i always work my ass off in the gym i work really hard get so tired and i zonk out slang number seven suck suck if something sucks it means that it is bad or not good the candies you gave me they suck meaning they're really bad they're really bad not very good you can also use suck to refer to a bad situation. Say you failed your driving test. You can say, oh, that sucks. You know, this whole me failing my test is a really bad situation, it sucks. Or um, I've lost my brand new iPhone um, and your friend says that really sucks. Or like if someone sucks, it generally means they have no skill or talent. An example would be um, you suck at football. If I say that you suck at football, or if someone says that I suck at football, it means that I'm not very good at it, all right? You suck at it, not very good at it. Slang number eight, badass, badass. This is a very common one, especially in films, you know, action movies. Someone that is cooler than cool, someone that is ultra cool, you know, like me. Well, someone who does whatever they want, when they want, where they want, well, Nah, that's not me. Also, someone who kicks everybody's ass in action movies, like Bruce Lee. Yeah, Bruce Lee was a badass. Slang number nine, to kill, all right? To kill, it's not to kill someone or something, okay? So to kill as a slang means um, to do well on something, okay? To do very well on something. Let's say um, you have a friend who can sing and they go to a Britain's Got Talent audition and she does very well you can say um she killed her audition all right she killed her audition meaning she did very well she did great all right wow you killed it wow you killed it oh she killed it slang number 10 fire fire um means that something is awesome you know attractive or exciting those jordans are fire they're really excited they're really attractive and really cool they're awesome they're fire Slang number 11, chill out, to chill out, all right? It means to relax, you know, 
Don't stress, relax, chill out. Everything is gonna be all right. Slang number 12, asshole, an asshole. This is very common as well. An asshole is someone who is stupid, all right? A stupid or an unpleasant person. So if a person like a girl tells you that you are such an asshole, it means that she doesn't like you very much. And so yeah, you're such an asshole. Slang number 13, to slay, okay? To slay means to do something very well and with confidence, all right? Brianna slayed her performance at the VMA. It means that she did really well, she killed it. All right, she slayed it. It also means to be extremely impressive, stylish or successful. You are really slaying in those Jordans, meaning you, you look good, you look very stylish and you know, attractive and cool. You're really slaying in those Jordans. Slang number 14, dead, like I'm dead. <laughs> it's not like physical death, but yeah, it's just a, another way to say that um, a place is like, you know, empty or quiet. It's usually said of, you know, bars, clubs, restaurants, etc. It is really dead in here today, meaning it's empty and there are very few people here today. All right? It's dead, really quiet or empty. All right? Slang number 15, couch potato. A couch potato is a person who spends a lot of time sitting and watching TV. If there is someone in your family, like your brother or your sister, who's always sitting down and doesn't do much, you know, that person is a couch potato because all they do is spending time sitting down and watching TV, all right? You know, my younger sister is a couch potato and I'm sick of it. You can't live like that. Slang number 16, hipster or hip. If someone is hip, they're really cool. If something is hip, that thing is really cool as well. So hip is someone or something that is cool, all right? I'm gonna hold a party. It's gonna be hip, you can't miss it. All right, it's gonna be super cool and you don't wanna miss it. Slang number 17, whack. It is something that is not cool, all right? Or not of good quality. That movie we watched last night was whack. It reminds me of uh, Venom, Let There Be Carnage, because I was so excited to go to the cinema and watch it, but then when I got there and I watched it all the way through to the end and I was very disappointed. It was a very wacky movie, I didn't enjoy it. Slang number 18, wicked. Wicked. So if something is wicked, it means that it is really cool. Um, for instance, that movie we watched last night was wicked. I really enjoyed it. It was wicked. Slang number 19, to throw shade. To throw shade means to talk trash about someone or something. I heard him throwing shade at you. Yeah, I know. He's an asshole. Slang number 20, thirsty. Thirsty. It's not thirst like oh i need to drink water no i'm talking about a different kind of thirsty or thirst all right so thirsty uh, means to be desperate for attention say you know someone who posts um a lot of photos of themselves on instagram or facebook whatever on the same day right and they do it like every day every single day they are thirsty for attention crash no no i'm not talking about like a car crash or something no i'm talking about um you know going to sleep okay crash means to go to sleep after the party i crashed at my friend's house don't really know how i got there but yeah well i must tell you it's really um late where i am and i'm pretty knackered so i'm gonna crash in the meantime click right here to learn how to speak english confidently and fluently i'll see you there peace